morning. How are you? This is Marianne Grant, Life in Harmony podcast. Today is the first day of your life. It's important. What are you going to do with it? Remember, I talked about cleaning up any of that residue that you left behind yesterday, mentally, physically, spiritually, financially, emotionally, or sexually. I suggest you clean that up. You're the only one that can do that. If you're down and out and depressed and angry, that's all due to your own actions, and you're the only one that can make it better and clean that mess up. Remember, yesterday is gone, and we are not promised tomorrow. This is it. All we have is today. I'm going to go over the list of all the things that control us. Sarcasm. Sarcasm is anger, emotions, bad attitude. Enabling, people pleasing, not able to say no, drugs, alcohol, pills, relationships, sex, lust, love, anger, rage, porn, controlling everybody around you but yourself, distractions everywhere, then you have nothing but excuses, gambling, work, working out, food addiction, binge TV, phone, podcast, news, caffeine, surgeries, pain. Being in a relationship with a man or woman mentally, physically, spiritually, financially, emotionally, or sexually abusing one another. And you may want to add to the list. Okay, today I want to talk about um, not criticizing people's beliefs um, as long as it's love and compassion and not hate and killing and question... um, the people you're with and the importance of love and respect and how we all make mistakes. We're all imperfect, perfect human beings. And the power of friends and people that you love, how much meaning and excitement it brings to your life and the importance of it and um, how social media could never, ever, ever stop us from being together, being with people. We're not robots. And the importance of hugging and um, smelling one another, touching one another, looking at one another, sharing where we are, getting raw. And the beauty of um, whatever your faith is. And I used to think when I started recovery, um, I grew up Catholic. And um, I didn't know there was a million and one different religions. And the reality is it's just it's all getting us to the same place. Um, how we love ourselves and the level of love and respect that we give ourselves and that's what we get in return so we can only have two thoughts love or hate you're either loving or you're hating that's it it doesn't matter what it is you pray to what it is you believe what it is you have faith in you're either loving yourself or hating yourself so that's what you're projecting out there so um, all you have to worry about is your inner peace or do you have loving thoughts or do you have hating thoughts? And those are the things that you need to clean up. Those are the things that you can clean up. And the importance of having loving friends around you and speaking truth and um, having the balls to construct uh, constructive criticism and speaking up when you see something not good. Because addicts and people that do self-destruct, if you don't say anything, they think they're getting over they think they're getting away with it. So talk. So think about today your thoughts. What are your thoughts? Do you love yourself? Do you hate yourself? Are you abusing yourself? Um, are you lying to yourself? And the only way we can shut those thoughts down and shut that head down is doing the next right thing. Um, uh, correcting uh, what we're doing wrong. Clean it up. And here's the truth. Um, when you lie and cheat, and you tell yourself like you're getting over, you will never rest in peace. You will never have any harmony. You will never be happy. You're just, you just continuously self-destruct. And again, it's about free will. It's about choices when people say, you know, I hate God. I hate this. I hate my friends. No, you hate yourself. I love it when people blame everybody around them. And the reality is, Whatever we see throughout the day is what we choose to see. So we have a choice to see love and spread it, or we have a choice to see hate and spread it. Remember, it takes two people to go to war. 
So you decide today if you want to go to war. You decide today if you want to spread love. You decide today what kind of faith you want to follow and believe and read and the beautiful thoughts and the positive friends that you have in your life. I had the most beautiful day with a friend that we have never spent our birthday ever, ever. We've never spent a day together. We had, we had no, we, we made a promise, no phone calls, no social media, nothing. And we just spent the whole day together learning about one another. And this is a friend I grew up with uh, years ago. And we were always with groups, but we never, ever, ever had one-on-one time. She's born August 5th. I'm born August 6th. And we were sharing. We were cracking up. Our friend in Spain uh, that, that's our age that we grew up with, her daughter was having her first period. My friend that I was with was having her first daughter after having four open heart surgeries. It was a miracle. And I was having my first grandson. And there are children that my grandson and her daughter is now 21. <clears throat> and it was just absolutely beautiful to share the experience, to be together, and to just just be raw, just ask anything we wanted to ask, and just be ourselves. And, and um, I'm a grandma, and she's a mom, and um, uh, we just, uh, it was beautiful. And I had some other time with a friend in Spain, too, where I was able to visit her for 10 days and learn about her. It's, it's beautiful to have that one-on-one -on -one time. And then I had another friend in Maine that I was able to spend time with her also. So it's great to be able to catch up with old friends and be with them and not see them, but pick up the phone or, or when we're together, it's like we never left one another. That's the beauty of solid, beautiful friends. Okay, balance, not too much of anything. Our kids, our partner, our play, our work. When we stay balanced, it's life in harmony. When we abuse ourselves, everyone we love is affected by it. You cheat yourself and everyone around you. The level of love and respect you give yourself, that's the level of love and respect you get in return. The goal for all of us truly is life in harmony. Our thinking can make us or break us. That is why we have to check our attitude all day long. It has to be as natural as going to the bathroom or else your head gets backed. Remember, if you have an attitude, be attitude, being in the highest possible state of happiness and good humor and contentment with the way things are. This, my friend, is the greatest gift you can give yourself. Remember, behind every breakdown, there's a breakthrough around the corner. People say, I want to help be a part of taking care of the world. Here's the good news. If you truly take care of yourself all day and be a living example, that is taking care of the world. We all have gifts. We all have work to do. That is the true meaning of taking care of the world. Doing your part. No exceptions. The answers lie in each and every one of us. Hey, you manipulators, smooth talkers, narcissists, your words mean nothing and your actions say everything. I'm going to read a beautiful spiritual saying from Michael Singer. Spirituality. Spirituality begins when you decide you will never stop trying. Spirituality is the commitment to go beyond no matter what it takes. It's an infinite journey based upon going beyond yourself every minute of every day for the rest of your life. <clears throat> if you are truly going beyond, you're always at your limits. You're never back in the comfort zone. A spiritual being feels as though they're always against the edge and they are constantly being pushed through it. One should view their spiritual work as learning to live life without stress, problems, fear, or melodrama. This path of using life to evolve, spirituality is truly the highest path, trust the process. The spiritual journey is one of constant transformation. To grow, you must give up the struggle to remain the same and to embrace change. Discipline is freedom. The undisciplined mind is like an elephant. If left to blunder around out of control, it will wreak havoc. Confront the difficult while it's easy. Accomplish the great tasks by a series of small acts. You must go through the darkest night in order to get to the infinite light. What we call darkness is really the blockage of light. Eventually, you realize that it cannot actually hurt you. If it, you go beyond your psychological limits, if you're willing to just stand at the edge, keep walking, you will go beyond. You used to pull back. It's okay to get uncomfortable. Now you relax and go past that point. 
That is all it takes to go beyond. Go beyond where you were a minute ago, a minute ago by handling what's happening to you now. Imagine the peace that you could experience if you were constantly creating and defending your false self, Michael Singer. Okay, I'm going to read a little part of my book. <clears throat> We're still in the virtues. 85, resolution. Resolve to perform what you ought. Perform without fail what you resolve. I'll read that one more time. Resolution, resolve to perform what you ought. Perform without fail what you resolve. Okay, it's truly about your constitution, what you stand for, and um, all your daily tasks and what you need to do for the day and take it head on with alacrity and excitement and, and truth and um, really get to the point where you enjoy every part of your day um, and every day is a Friday or every day is a Saturday and that you love every moment when you get up. Again, I talk about that balance, and when you don't have too much of anything, you really enjoy everything you do because you don't burn out from anything. So today, I want you to do all your hard tasks in the morning, everything you hate, and if there's some stuff, some issues, some big projects that you have to do, I want you to call someone and get some professional help and get it done. Call someone in to help you because it's very hard to do it alone and get started. Once you get started, nine times out of ten, we all just need that push. And then once they get you where you need to get to, you just keep that maintenance. You keep that going. You keep that process. You keep that up. And next thing you know, you're just loving everything around you, your living quarters, how you live, how you go to work, how you are with your partner, how you listen to your kids how you start to listen to everybody around you. You start loving your new self and, and um, very proud of your changes. They're slow and subtle and you wake up one day and say, wow, I really like me. I really um, feel good about me. I'm really not that bad after all. We are our most critics. We abuse ourselves the most. We don't need anybody to beat us down. We do a fine job by ourselves. So that's the beauty be, to be able to look in the mirror with resolve and say, I am proud of myself. I am responsible. I do do the next right thing. I am in action. I don't need anybody's approval except my own and my higher power, my own personal God. That's the only person I answer to. And with that, it's just an amazing, wonderful, beautiful day because this is it. This is all we have. Okay, work on one thing at a time. Eventually, it will be a way of life. Don't do too much of anything. Balance is most important. Do one of these things for 30 days, and you won't recognize yourself in a year. I am clean and clear of all diseases and negative thoughts. What's control, controlling you? I accept today where I am powerless. I have control where I have choices. I will reach out for help and use my tools today. I accept today and understand the only person I can change or regulate is myself. I will take time to hug and kiss my loved ones around me. I will show my partner today how much he or she's appreciated, needed, and loved. I will speak up for myself today, be true to ourselves. The answers lie in each and every one of us. Everything we do is a practice and a discipline to master what we want. I will take charge of my life and realize I'm in charge of all my decisions. I will know when it's time to bow out and let go and trust the process. I will set realistic goals for myself. I will get seven to eight hours of sleep tonight. I will set healthy boundaries around myself today. I will not allow anybody to speak to me with disrespect. I will make a conscious effort to eat healthy meals. I will take my vitamins, food supplements today. I will drink six to eight glasses of water today. I will be good to myself today. Whoever can see through all fear will always be safe. I will talk with someone I trust and respect and be honest with them. Accountability is key cannot do it alone. We always lie to ourselves. I will trust and reach out to my higher power today. I will accept and say thank you for everything that happens to me today, good or bad. I will not do anything to cause harm to myself or others today. I am willing to change today. I will exercise today. I will pray for the well-being of myself and others today. 
I will write a list of all the things I want in a partner. If I become it, I will attract it. Discipline is freedom. Do two things a day you don't want to do. To have a successful day, those two things for me are always getting up early, doing my pods, podcast, uh, doing my workout, and the rest will follow and keeping my food clean. We can all heal together one day at a time. It is a decision from our head to our heart. You can reach me at createyourspirit at gmail.com. Leave your number. I'll go over my workshops and my books. You, uh, my services, lifeinharmonyonline.com. Leave your number. I'll go over my services with you. Remember, I'm doing the podcast Monday through Friday. Hit that colorful round button that says L. Hit subscribe. And please start with podcast number one, number two, number three. There's order into receiving all this information. It could be very overwhelming. And remember, I want you to have an astonishing day today. And thank you for listening.